This message is not intended to be mean. You have bad breath. That makes you disgustingly nasty. You just said you were going to be mean. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to fail time yet again.、Uh, we're bringing you some GG reacts. I accidentally called someone because actually that's what we're doing today. Is、uh, we're doing weird hotlines, strange hotlines, the hottest of the lines, the lines of the hots. So we're gonna be calling some people, and、uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see, we'll see, see what they say when they answer. I'm gonna try need an attorney because I do. I'm suing some people. <laughs> no big deal. Hello, Ola Yaate. You called Saul. What? The Saul Goodman and Associates, your one-stop shop for all things law. If they've accused you of breaking bad, better call Saul. Breaking、Did、bad? Have you seen that show? Oh,、so、is this their commercial? Yeah. yeah.、Uh, this one's totally lost on me because I was like, "What are you?" It sounds like way higher quality than the other ones. Like the music in the background. Yeah. Better call Saul. Better call Saul. Is that a show now? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's bad. I just I don't have time for TV. I'm making crap happen, dog. And also, I watch different shows. <laughs> God, I hate that guy's voice. I gotta be honest. I'm glad it's out there. Right? Is it? Can you? Can you get an attorney from there? Or is it just、no. okay? Yeah,、wow. that'd be cool if someone was sitting there all day, just waiting to take、it. calls. Yeah, that's what they should do. Yeah, that's a lot of money, though. It sure is. I think I'm gonna do is keep an idiot entertained, because that's me. <laughs> See if they reach、Hello. my market. Hello, and thanks for calling. How to keep an idiot entertained? Where we will、oh. show you how to keep an idiot entertained. I get it. It's so you get. It's like <laughs> someone asks for your number and you give them the fake number and they're like, oh,、yeah. like ha ha. Sitting there, listening, completely captivated. Their stupid little brains, pleasantly preoccupied with something that nobody with an IQ over twenty would find remotely entertaining. That's right. They'll be. Ray, I'm not over twenty. Their eyes glazed over like cavemen, occasionally reaching back to scratch their butts while a stream of drool runs down their chin and onto their shoes, <laughs> which are probably Velcro because shoelaces are hard. Okay, I just want to.、Like、I just want to prove that these are <laughs> shoelaces. No need, because we're already done. If you're still listening, then we have just successfully kept it. Oh, ha, ha, pulled the wool over my eyes. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good one. The way he was kind of describing my life, though, was concerning.、Uh, a little close for yeah, comfort. Yeah, seriously, it's kind of like astrology. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Gemini's, you guys、yeah. all do this. I was like, you're right now. Kind of spooked me out. I was entertained the whole time, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess I can consider myself an idiot. That's fine. I thought it was good. I thought that was funny. Funny, right? Yeah. Whatever. Kobe. Whatever. This hotline outsource a friendship. Let's see how this one goes. We'll throw it on speaker. Turn the volume. Your lovely friend has given you this number because he、okay. or she has decided to outsource your friend. Oh, so I'm getting outsourced. Yes, is what this is. You're not getting a friend. I don't get outsourced, Ashley. <laughs> well, that's、know. not how this works. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this super offensive or what? <laughs> to all Indian people. My good name is Prakash Paradhan. Do you think that person's actually even Indian? Probably not. Talking like this, you know. Probably not. Best friend for a very long time indeed. So, how are you, good buddy? Do not be upset that your friend has outsourced the friendship to India. Can I talk to him? Or is it just? No longer liking you. He's such a charming and sweet <laughs> Indian guy. I already have like I have an Indian best friend. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. His name's Tushar. I would totally take this guy over Tushar for sure. Now your new replacement friend. It was so good to have this conversation with you, my good friend. I cannot wait for you to call me once again. No longer liking you. Okay, good. As long as I'm not losing a friend. I think I'll survive. I just don't want to talk to you. Exactly. Right now, they just don't want to talk to me. That's fine. Besides, I think I found a better friend. Something, something. Oop, la la la. That I get. I'm definitely. I was gonna say I'm definitely gonna save that number, but that laugh at the end. <clears throat> not too sure about that one. Kind of threw it off there. Kind of threw that one off. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I feel like if someone wants to outsource a friendship, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty done anyway. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> There's no going back. Pretty much done to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said that from the beginning. <laughs> that's messed up. That's super mean. Right? Because like, <laughs> that's like when you're on like the brink of ending your friendship, and you're like, how, I don't know how to do this, and you're like, oh, I got it. Here, I changed my number. <laughs> and you give that to him. That's super mean. I like that. That's funny. Let's do. It could always suck more. Hello. You're probably hearing this message because you're having a bad day. That sucks. But we're here to provide the inspirational and uplifting reminder that it could always suck more. Did you stub a toe or sprain an ankle? That or sprain an ankle? That sucks. <laughs> 
but it could always suck more. You could have broken both arms and been rendered incapable of wiping your own ass. <laughs> Stop, you could have broken both arms. You could have lost control of the car, careened off a cliff, and been securely seat belted in place when the car hit the ground and exploded into flames. Did you get what in the you world the is the this, Ash? You could have lost in place when the car hit the ground and exploded into flames. But would that suck? That's the question I'm getting done. But it could always suck more. That love of your life could have also stolen all your money, burned down your house, run off with your cousin, and left you with nothing but unpaid bills and a nasty, incurable STD. Ooh. 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 Okay, yeah, that's not good. Take solace in the fact that it could always suck more. For example, somehow you were just tricked into making this phone call and wasting the last minute of your life listening to I wasn't tricked. I was told. I was told. Doing it for a video. Nope. But as you now know, it could always suck more. You could find out that the joke's mm. on you. This phone call is a scam. Your call is being routed through a telephone switchboard in the Dominican. Okay, so I'm just going to end it there then. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it is or not. We don't know. I don't I don't want to risk that, though. That's permitted. <laughs> Let's stop that right now. <laughs> I don't want to get charged. I'm <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, I mean, as funny as it is, that is a very, it, everything could be a lot worse. Right? But, uh. Good perspective. Oddly specific <laughs> ones. You got a ticket? Yeah, that's fine. Could always suck more. You could have died in a car crash and then, uh, <laughs> like, what, what the heck? Here's what I have to say to that. Could it always suck more? Yes. yes. Very, very optimistic outlook. But don't let that cloud the suckiness <laughs> of what's going on in the first place. If something bad happens, you'll be like, oh, well, you know, it could always be worse. I mean, that's cool, but like you gotta really analyze the bad that <laughs> happened or else you're never gonna move on and improve. So guys, it could always suck more, but guess what? When it sucks, that's okay too. Just get through it and don't suck next time. Thank you guys, that's a PSA from Tanner Momodo. <laughs> I'm gonna try the bad breath one. Cause you never know. Is this gonna be a real person on the other end? Am I gonna be able to like talk to them? No. Hello. The Hi. Who gave you this phone number to call wants you to know that you have bad breath. Hey. Seriously, your Rude. breath smells very bad. This message is not intended to be mean. Well, Quite it is. The opposite. This bad breath notification message is intended to help you improve your life and the life. Thank you. you breathe near. Bad breath is disgustingly nasty. You have bad breath that makes you disgustingly nasty. But you just said you, you were gonna be mean. Bad <laughs> you. That makes you disgustingly nasty. Do something about your bad breath. It's kind of mean, even though she said it wasn't. Nasty. It's not mean, but honestly, laughing? your breath no. is super no. nasty. It's not a disgusting, like, <laughs> nasty. Why? I mean, just tell the person, you know? Like, why are you gonna... Maybe they're just scared. Scared of what? I don't know. They want to hurt the feelings. I'm gonna need those, like, all of those numbers. I'll send them to you. Except for the Saul one. <laughs> Call Saul. Don't need them. I hate them. I hate oh, them so right much. Good. Can I force someone? How do you force someone else to call something? Like, how do you make someone call that number? How unless, does that work? Unless you call them first and then do like a three way. Then you dial. <laughs> three way call? Yeah, dial in the hotline. Gotcha. <laughs> call a note just because I'm a fan of their music. Welcome to Call a Note, your emergency call a note helpline. To hear one on one, please press one. To hear it go, please press two. To hear Manita, please press three. Mm. To hear privatize. Please press Ooh, four. so many options. I want some private eyes. <laughs> you listen to this music? Yes. I love Hollow If I keep clicking through them, will it change the song? Have you had people singing along? You're the first one to do this one. Really? Mm -hmm. Does it play the whole song? <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe this is a thing. I'm going to have to get these numbers <laughs> yeah. after from you because these are too much fun. I think the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do Hogwarts because I like Harry Potter. Oh, there's an actual menu. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? This exists? Yeah. Please listen carefully to the following menu options before making your selection. For campus information, please press 1 for admission. Press 2 for rules and regulations. Press 3 for how I didn't select anything. Is this the old lady from the movies? No? What's her name? She's like Dumbledore's, like, main squeeze? Yeah. Probably. Alright, you're too long. <laughs> that was cool, though. Why does that exist? Where did you find this? Google, man. They just have Hogwarts hotlines? Yeah. People just actually pay out to have a constant hotline that's just for the memes? Yep. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that's mean. I'm mad. For, but we're, the call, first off, it's in Scotland. Figured that out. We confirmed that it's in Scotland. Secondly, it said I'm muggle. I'm not allowed to go. Sorry, dude. That makes me sad. I always felt myself as a wizard, you know? Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe I'll just stick to Harry Potter video games. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick to that.